Typical weather satellites are about the size of a, a van or a small bus. The size of the Cygnus satellite is comparable to a typical microwave oven in your kitchen. There's eight satellites and they're all deployed in a single uh, plane, equally spread all the way around the Earth. And the reason they're so small compared to typical weather satellites is because of the technique that they use to measure the winds. The, the science instrument on our satellites is really just a modified GPS receiver, just similar to the kind that's in your cell phone. Well, Cygnus is a NASA satellite mission that consists of eight satellites that are going to be in orbit um, around the tropics. Uh, and the instruments are designed to measure the speed of the wind near the ocean surface in the middle of hurricanes. Cygnus makes measurements in a, a fundamentally different way than historical weather satellites have made them. Every 12 minutes a new satellite comes across and when they're crossing over a, uh, a hurricane that means that we get new measurements of the winds every 12 minutes and that's a huge improvement over traditional weather satellites where there's one satellite and they typically come back around about once every day or two. And that rapid refresh in the imagery of the winds is a, a key element of why we're going to be able to improve the hurricane forecasts. We have several roles. The science role is we're the lead institution taking the raw data and turning it into estimates of the winds at the ocean surface and the roughness at the ocean surface and from that you can estimate the amount of energy that comes off the ocean into the hurricane. For the engineering, uh, the lead institution is an organization in Texas called Southwest Research Institute, and we're a subcontractor to them for some of the engineering. A good example of what Cygnus can potentially do for hurricane forecasting in the future is by uh, um, looking back at what happened with Hurricane Sandy. So Hurricane Sandy, you know, it was a very large hurricane that made landfall just south of New York City, and because it was heading towards a major population center, and also because it was so close to the U.S., there was an unusually large number of um, Hurricane Hunter air, airplanes that were flown over. And our forecast for both the strength of the hurricane and where it made landfall and what the swell was, which is actually the biggest source of damage with hurricanes, all of those things were extremely well forecast. Cygnus, the type of measurements it makes are very, very similar to the measurements made by these Hurricane Hunter airplanes. Um, it makes measurements cutting through the hurricane very often. Having Cygnus on orbit will be like having a fleet of Hurricane Hunter airplanes distributed everywhere in the tropics. We're hoping to get the type of improvement in forecast skill that we got with Sandy, except we'll get it everywhere. Which is stuck on the side and gets deployed, and that's much smaller. The orbiter is in the vicinity of the comet for a couple of years, but near the beginning of the mission, when the comet is still far away from the sun, the, uh, the orbiter